Hey everyone, so in this video we will take a look at how to create a drawing file uh, from the SOLIDWORKS part that is already been created. Okay, so let's switch over to the SOLIDWORKS screen and uh, let us say that we have this part created uh, and we want to make a drawing uh, for this particular part. Okay, so there are two ways about how we can create the drawing file and I'm going to talk about uh, both uh, options one by one. So the first way to create the drawing file is that once you have uh, completed the drawing uh, the part file then we're going to go to file and then say make drawing from part. It is very important that if you haven't saved uh, the file then you have to save it first because the part file and the drawing file are connected with each other. So I'm going to save the file and uh, save that file as let's say uh, test drawing and the extension will be sldprt. So you want to save that and as soon as you save it then a pop-up window will appear that will ask for the standard sheet size. So there are various uh, sizes available here. Um, you can, if this is unchecked, then you can, you know, even check on that to show the standard format, or it can show all the other different possible formats, including the ISO standards, or the Danish standards, or the Japanese standards, and all other standards are there. But if we just click here to just show the standard formats, then only few options will be uh, visible here. So I'm going to go with the ANC landscape um, format to uh, create this drawing. And once I click OK, then you should see on your right side a uh, palette that already constructs the different sorts of views for you. And when, you be, when we create the drawing, the first thing that we need to make sure is uh, that the front view is available to insert. So the front view you need to just simply click and drag and place it somewhere to the left side of the screen and once you place it there if you simply move the cursor to the top and then click uh, using the left mouse button then the top view will be created and once you again move the cursor to the right side then the right view is going to be created Again, if you move your cursor at 45 degrees angle with respect to the front view, then the isometric view will be created. So I'm going to place it there. So once I'm done creating these four different views, uh, I'm just simply click on the check option. And if you notice that these views are related with each other, for example, if I move the front view, then the top and the right view also move along with it. Although you can break that relationship, uh, we're going to look at all these other options later on when we do the drawings in details. The isometric view or a three-dimensional view is independent of the other three views. Okay. First thing once we create these views uh, is to make sure the isometric view that we have placed it on the right side top corner to make it in the uh, shaded option. So if I click on any particular view, the options for that particular view appears on the left side. If I click somewhere on near the isometric view, then those options will appear here. And if I scroll down to look at the display style, I'm going to use the option of shaded with edges for the three-dimensional view here. Okay. We don't want the shaded with edges option for the front view, the top view, and the right view. This is the third angle projection system, and what we follow here uh, are these three standard orthographic views, which are presented in the shape of L, with the base of that L being the front view, and to the top of the front is the top view, to the right of the front is the right view. Okay? and after that, once we have done the shaded isometric view, then we're going to click OK, come to the front view, 
and make sure that you select the option under the display style as the hidden lines visible okay it is very important to show the hidden lines so that you can identify all the different surfaces uh, in the existing model so making the hidden lines visible in the front view will take care of the hidden lines in the other views as well since this is a circular hole we want to create a center line also in this particular view in order to do that i will look at the annotation tab and then look for the option center line once i click on the center line i can select the view i can either uh, auto insert by selecting the view if i click this particular view then the center line will be created okay let's click OK we can also click on this center mark and we can extend for the purpose of dimensioning okay once we've done adding the shaded with edges as well as the hidden lines visible the top front and the right views we need to make sure that we are using the right scale for our drawing views so if i click on one of the views i can see if i scroll down that there is an option for scale so right now the sheet scale is one to two which is 50 percent i can click on this drop down option and I can change the uh, ratio or the scale so instead of 1 to 2 if I say 2 to 3 you can notice that all the views get um, magnified a little bit it is very important to make sure that there are no empty spaces in your drawing sheet so you know of course you don't really want uh, the sheet to be something like uh, 1 to 8 something like that it, uh, it, it is not a good drawing Obviously, you're not able to see all the features and the dimensions associated with it. So you need to make sure that you use the drawing scale that fits within the frame of this drawing sheet. And that is something that looks clear uh, you know, from the visualization point of view. All right. Next thing we're going to do is create the dimensions. So while being on the annotation page, I'm going to go to the smart dimension and I will click here um, I noticed that the dimensions are in millimeters on this drawing sheet while we created this part in inches so if I just place this dimension here and then click OK and if I go and change the units to inches you should notice that the dimensions are also taken care of in that particular unit system we can continue and assign the dimensions on the other uh, faces and edges as well. So for example, I'm going to click here, place the dimension at the center. And also I want to assign the dimensions for this uh, circular hole, the diameter. So if I go ahead and click on this circle and try to place the dimension, you can notice that it comes off with a straight line, uh, which is done in the ISO standard. Uh, but I want to use that as the ANSI standard so in order to do it uh, let's go to options document properties and if the overall drafting standard is the ISO you can change that to ANSI and then click OK and you should notice that uh, the dimension changes accordingly as per the ANSI standard in even after this, if you have a trouble in making the dimensions as per the ANSI standard, uh, you can visually change that options. For example, if you go to again options, document properties, and if you expand the dimensions and we were assigning the dimension for the diameter, if I click on that diameter, uh, and if it still shows ISO here, make sure that you change that to ANSI standard and that way the dimension will be shown accordingly as per the ANSI standard. So I'm going to click OK. Um, also, we have to assign the dimension in each and every view. So I'm going to click 
click on this line and the outer edge uh, just to show the dimension of this hole that is 2.75 uh, inches and also you can select this center line and the outer edge uh, for the smart dimension to show that dimension as well remember the smaller dimensions cannot exceed the uh, overall dimension so 1.5 cannot be outside of uh, the three inches dimension it has to be inside okay so the rule is that the longest dimension should be the farthest from the uh, part that we are creating the drawings the dimensions on okay so that's about the uh, drawings and think about it in a way that if we were represented with these three standard orthographic views based on those dimensions would we be able to create a solid model and so accordingly we need to provide the uh, dimensions uh, to the uh, different uh, to two different type of views we can also uh, click on a particular dimension and if you click on this bubble they come from inside or if you again click on, uh, click on it you can you can present them from outside as well okay uh, there are so many other uh, you know options for assigning the dimensions but for now until we get to that point uh, we can follow these simple uh, rules for dimensioning and placing the views in the part file um, if I uh, right click on anywhere on the drawing sheet uh, not necessarily on the particular view but somewhere on the drawing sheet uh, I can see the option that says edit sheet format if I click on the edit sheet format your drawing views would disappear and you get this blank screen here um, which is editable so I can I can delete it here I can delete this text just hit the delete key and then you can uh, um, uh, get rid of all these uh, options that uh, you don't really want in your drawing sheet. Uh, you can again, uh, you know, move this here or even up to here if you want some more room for your drawing sheet. So, you know, you can customize and um, delete uh, the uh, drawing sheet uh, that you uh, want to make it. Uh, Customize according to you know your needs. Uh, I can even sh uh, highlight and uh, get rid of all this um, information. Okay, so that way you can um, adjust uh, the um, drawing sheet uh, or the format of the drawing sheet. And once you are uh, you know down to only up to here. Uh, you can again look for the annotation tab and if you want to click on the note I can place a note uh, somewhere in the title box okay and you can again adjust the uh, you know the formatting of that and just uh, you know write your um, your name And also you can uh, type in the uh, assignment number here so either you can copy and paste uh, this item that we just uh, placed it under the title or you can uh, again go to the notes and uh, just place it there for saying um, let's say I see one problem one something like that and once you're done placing the note hit the escape key and then click on the right side top corner to come out of the edit sheet format so that way it will be indicated on your drawing sheet okay so that is how we can create the drawing uh, by using the first option the second option uh, was that if we again click on the window and go to the part file here we can start it all the way from scratch so if I go to file and say new drawing click OK again the same thing that we need to select the uh, sheet size so I'm going to click OK and if your part file is open that part file will appear here but if not then you can always click on the browse 
and select that part file. Okay. So once you have this uh, part file selected, you can go to view layout and then if you click on the standard three views, okay, and then place um, only the parts and assemblies can be selected in this um, and that's okay. What we can do is if we go to the standard three views, click on browse and if I look for the part file that we want to create the three standard views, those three standard views uh, will appear here. Okay. One thing we need to make sure uh, is that we need to right click and then click on the uh, properties. So if I expand this, I can see the option for properties click on the properties and make sure that you are on the third angle projection. Here you can again change the scale that will be applicable to all the views. So instead of one to two, if I say two to three and uh, let us say apply changes. So that way you can uh, adjust that. And then after the same thing as we did uh, before as going into the annotation tab make sure that uh, you are using the uh, center line or even before that we need to make sure that these views are um, hidden lines visible and once you show the hidden lines then you can go to annotation center line and then uh, select the view to auto insert click ok and then we need to still add the uh, three-dimensional view. So we're going to go to the view layout. We can go to the uh, projected view. Click on the front view and just simply drag your cursor uh, approximately 45 degrees and then place it somewhere. Click on the check mark and then you can move it and change it to shaded with edges. And then rest of the things you can do it as we've done in the uh, previous option all right so that's uh, the video about creating the engineering drawings for the solidworks part file